All right, Schlockmeister fans, another re-review from my previous channel. Don't Torture a Duckling, a Fulci movie. Let's check it out. A little over a minute into our movie and we see a skeleton being unearthed. A small skeleton. A child. I believe this guy's name is Giuseppe, and he's peeking into this place where there's a brothel. So the kid's missing. But I can't lay my hands on money like that. And there's a ransom. The town knows it. It's never been very easy. We managed to buy a piece of land. We haven't anything else. Well, the guy who made that ransom call was Giuseppe. And he goes to pick up what he's hoping is the money. No fireman. No. He insists that he didn't do it. He just made the ransom call to try to get money. And then Bruno's body is found. Well, you had one dead boy, might as well have another. We have a woman in the area who's doing some sort of voodoo, which appears to be on little boy dolls. So they're chasing the voodoo witch. They end up taking her in. Well, they let her go. I think they're convinced that your voodoo shit didn't do anything to actually kill those kids. There's a little vigilante justice in the village. They basically beat her to death. And then there's this little girl who they're convinced knows something. Come with me, it's all right. That's it. Come on. Hey, what's wrong? Here's the local priest. Worry about Mario. Keep an eye on him. What's he done? How stupid can you be? People commit an act of folly, and there's the result. Scared of going 
another body. It's more than just a bruise this time. It's a contusion. Yes. They find a lighter. Is that a clue? She's questioned. I know every inch of that you do it by heart just, just from riding around trying to think of something to do. There's a little girl we saw earlier. I noticed the uh, head is missing off of her Donald Duck doll. A duckling. Gone to the police. Now here comes the father. At this point we're led to believe that he's the serial killer. Killing all these boys. Apparently he feels by killing these children he's going to save their souls so they don't sin later on in life. There goes Donald. A fight ensues. The fight that Don Alberto loses. And that's our movie. All right, let's talk about Lucio Fulci's Don't Torture Duckling. Now, I've seen this movie once before when I reviewed it back in 2016. I watched it again today. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Fulci movies. Uh, this is the, the genre isn't great to me. Italian giallo horror type movies. They're always just a little confusing. You got to pay way too much attention to them. And uh, I don't know. That's Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But they just never really resonated with me. Now this one... Um, I think is one of the better ones that Fulci did. Um, I, I don't, don't want to say I overly enjoyed it because I really didn't, but it was it was okay. You know, it had a couple of decent gore scenes in it. There was like some brief nudity in it, but what we got here is a some really obscure village in the middle of Italy somewhere where a bunch of uh, children, mostly male children, are being killed, and uh, the police are trying to find out who's doing it. There is a woman in town who's some sort of like voodoo witch or something, and she has pins that she's sticking in the dolls of these uh, baby or kid dolls, basically, which obviously we're led to believe that she's doing something that's causing these kids to die. Of course, we find out it, she's not. She's, uh, these kids are dying because somebody's killing them. Now, the voodoo shit really had nothing to do with it, but they end up picking up this woman. They arrest her, but then they end up releasing her, but the villagers are, are very paranoid, and they think, oh, bullshit. She did this. So they beat the shit out of her and, and basically beat her to death with chains and, and weapons and all kinds of things. And they kill her. Ultimately, we find out that it's this priest named Alberto, Don Alberto, who's killing these kids because he's uh, I get he has this mindset that you can because he is who he is, he can kill these kids and uh, it prevents them from sinning as adults. So he's basically sending them to heaven with pure souls. That's what he wants to do. Well, he's got this girl at the end of the movie, and he's, like, threatening to jump or drop her off a cliff. Guy goes up there and basically stops that from happening. They get into a fight, a struggle, and then he ends up tossing uh, Don Alberto down the cliff, where we see his body kind of strike the rocks and stuff, and his face kind of explodes a little bit and that sort of thing. And there you go. That is Don't Torture a Duckling. Again, um, it was okay. And again, for Ful I think uh, Fulci fans really, really like this movie a lot. Like I said, uh, not a huge Fulci fan, but I think this is one of his better ones. So there you go. Anyway, I have this DVD from Anchor Bay. I bought this probably in like 2001 or something. It was a long, long time ago. I bought it uh, a blind buy. And I really knew nothing about it, but I liked the title and it was a horror movie. I knew it was Fulci. So let's pick it up, right? Anyway, never watched it until 2016, and then watched it again in 2022. There you go. Don't torture ducklings. So anyway, I'm sure it's available on Blu-ray by now, and I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested. And you should click that link and get it yourself, and let me know what you think about it. Don't torture duckling. Watch it. Bye. Leave me some comments.